What's good Tampa? Welcome back to another episode. In this one, we're gonna show you Ybor City's most newest and popular restaurant at the time, Santo Stefano. So I'm excited to check this out. It's an Italian place owned by the Gans March, which is a really popular restaurant or around here in Tampa. So let's check it out. But first we must read the review. So let's get in the car and do that. So you guys know the routine. We're gonna read the reviews, got it pulled up. Let's just look at one here. Again, we have to find a local guide. That's the only people I trust around here. Joe something, local guide, here we go. He says, amazing atmosphere. Every part of the restaurant seems like a unique story behind it. The overall service and servers were exceptional. The authentic Italian dishes were beautiful and delicious. The Gonsmart family have done it again and added another unique place to the experience in Tampa. So that definitely sounds, uh, Pretty promising. Joe Mama, I'm not so sure. Let's check for ourselves. That's the only way to do it. You know how it goes. So let's get on in there, shall we? I have something to say to our Sicilian followers. Okay, go ahead. My dad's thing to me on why we are special is that all Sicilians are Italian, but not all Italians are Sicilian. And that's why being Sicilian. You heard it from the horse's mouth, as they say. I'm excited to try it out. Let's get on in there. Here we go. Are you good? Recording? The Paradiso is awesome. This is one of the better drinks I've had around town, to be honest with you. I would definitely recommend the Paradiso. I'll throw up on the screen, I guess, what's in it, because I don't really know, but Kind of tastes like a tropical margarita or something, but it's really, really good. I definitely recommend Paradiso. And Kristen likes the espresso martini. So off to a good start with the drinks here at Stefano? Santo Stefano. Santo Stefano. Here we go. Arancini on point once again. It's risotto, cheese, bolognese, and peas. Breaded and fried with sauce. It's delicious. Good. Meatball and cheese calzone. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna dip it in this sauce here. You didn't say what you usually say. Cheers. Want to Dip it, dip, dip, dip. Let me try that again. Yeah. Dip it, dip, dip, dip. It's really good. Seasoning on the meatballs, I can tell, is on point. Not overloaded with marinara. And just enough cheese to make me a happy man. It's Dibbity. not really called a calzone. I'll tell you what it is later. Oh, sorry about that. It's a huge piece of burrata, arugula salad, tomato, heirloom tomatoes, onion. It's delicious. Soft cheese inside. Ooh. So Put that with some tomato. Yeah. We're getting ready to close up here, but overall it's been a great experience. The atmosphere in here is really cool. I love all the old photos and things like that and the old photos of Tampa. Let's uh, move to the car and give you that full on review. All right, we're back in the car now. And uh, I am stuffed to the brim. Is it brim or the rim? Brim, right? All right, well, I'm stuffed. I think Joe might have been dead on with that review he gave because everything was pretty exceptional, I must say. So starting off with um, the atmosphere and the service, which was great, very cool atmosphere. I love all the old school pictures uh, uh, throughout the restaurant there of old Ybor City and everything like that. I thought that was really cool. Moving on to the drinks. The Paradiso was definitely my favorite out of what I tried. The lemo, Limonada. 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 The Lemonada or Limonada, whatever it was, like kind of the lemonade drink I was talking about. That was pretty good too. I like them both, to be honest with you, but the Paradiso was my favorite. Kristen's favorite was... Sal's Espresso Martini. Sal's Espresso Martini. She really likes that Espresso Martini. So the drinks were on point and moving on to the appetizer, the Arancini. It was cooked perfectly, just like you would classic Arancini. <laughs> I 
I guess. I don't, yeah. I know. Go ahead and make fun of me. I don't know what the f I don't know how to describe food, okay? I thought the calzone was great, too. They stuffed that calzone with a little bit more meatballs, but overall, I did like it a lot. Kristen got the burrata salad. Burrata. <sighs> Kristen got the burrata salad, and she seemed to really like that. Overall, I would give that experience a good, you know, 4.6 on the 5 scale. Yeah, I think if you're in the fours, that means it's kind of, it's worth going to. It's definitely worth checking out. Definitely enjoyed it and would go back and recommend that you guys check it out. If you do check it out, tag us and let us know what you think. And check out these other two videos that are up on the screen now. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Tampa content. And we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.